For years, we've been told the surest way to make more money is to invest in yourself by getting a college degree. But with the cost of college rising faster than inflation, is college really worth it? Or is it the big lie? Getting that college diploma is supposed to be the ticket to the good life. College after college is told students. You know that college graduates earn a million dollars more on average than those without a degree? Politicians have been saying it too. Graduates from four-year colleges earn nearly an estimated one million dollars more. However, that million dollars sounds like a lie to Rachel Purcell. I didn't plan to go move back in with my mother. This month, Rachel had to move out of her apartment because she couldn't pay the rent. I feel like I have to sponge off of my family now. She never dreamed this would happen after she graduated. Rachel had borrowed big to pay about $24,000 a year to attend Riviere College. She's still $85,000 in debt. I was told that just to take out all the loans and get the degree because when you graduate, you're going to be able to get that good job and pay them off no problem. So she got a degree in human development. But for what? For three years, she's struggled to find a job. Nothing. The recessions made her search even tougher. I just can't get a job in my field. Instead, she took a low-level desk job with an insurance company doing work she says she could have done straight out of high school. So was going to college worth it? I don't think it was. Because now I have this huge amount of debt, and there's no way I'll be able to pay it off. Many students told us that promise that a college education will get you a job? I definitely feel like it, it was a scam. Her college wrote us that Rachel's situation is unfortunate and that many of its graduates have launched successful careers. But a recent survey asked thousands of students at hundreds of colleges, would you go to your school again? About 40% said they would not. And yet we always hear, go to college. We expect all our children not only to graduate from high school, but to graduate college and get a good paying job. Everybody went to college. Everybody school. went to college. Chris Alfred followed the crowd at his high school and went to college and grad school. Now he owes more than $125,000. What did that get him? I work at a call center and I make $10 an hour. And I feel like a loser. Walter Rowland got a degree in meteorology along with a debt load of $77,000. College was a ripoff and nothing against you know, my college and my professors, but I, I was misinformed. You're led down this path of, of needing to go to college to get a good job. Uh, college diploma is the new high school diploma. The bachelor's degree, it's America's most overrated product. Dr. Marty Nemko is an education consultant and career counselor. When your parents got a bachelor's degree, it was a big deal. Today, it's like a hunting license for a job. And, uh, He's one of many who the say there is some ugly statistics the education establishment doesn't like to talk about, like the truth behind that million-dollar bonus. There could be no more misleading statistic that I could possibly tell you about. Misleading, Nemco says, because it includes super earners like these billionaires. They skew the average. And more importantly, many successful college kids would have been successful whether they went to college or not. You could take the pool of college-bound students and you could lock them in a closet for four years and they're going to earn more money. Because those are the kids who already tend to be harder working, more persistent. And smarter. But universities still throw around that million dollar number. Arizona State recently used it to justify a tuition hike. Million dollars is a lie. Some people have misused the million dollar figure because they don't exactly understand it. Sandy Baum speaks for the College Board. She admits the million dollar oh, figure is wrong. But she still argues a bachelor's degree earns you maybe half a million more. On average, people benefit much more from going to college. But a recent book by Charles Murray argues that many college students just aren't able to handle the work. And graduation statistics seem to bear that out. If you're in the bottom 40% of your high school class, you have a very small chance of graduating even if you are given eight and a half years. Amazingly, that's right. If you're in the bottom 40% of high school students, and today colleges recruit those kids, odds are you'll never graduate. While some experts say even some college helps, Nemco says to the bottom 40%, you probably shouldn't bother with college. You'll mainly get debt and disappointment. The immoral thing about it is 
that the colleges do not disclose that. Think twice before taking on debt for college, like says personal finance that. guru so Susie Orman. I have to tell you, I don't think it's worth it. Orman says college is a good thing for kids who have the grades to be doctors and lawyers, but others should reassess the value of a generic bachelor's degree. The degree of a college determines how successful you are? I don't think so. It's often smarter, she says, to acquire specific marketable skills at a community college, a technical school, or work as an apprentice for some business. That makes you more employable. You got a question? That's what these kids can do at this high school outside Houston. Here students choose among dozens of technical education programs. The training qualifies them for real-world jobs. The school offers courses in EMT training, CSI course, and more. Vocational school pays off for many. Electricians today make an average $48,000 a year. Plumbers make $47,000. That's more than the average American earns. But some people still look down on vocational school. It's just a fact that a degree from a four-year college is considered first class. A vocational school degree is not. We are a very status-driven society in America. We have a myth that prestigious careers are a key to the life well-led, and it is often a myth. More people need to realize that you don't have to get a four-year degree to be successful. Steven Eilers went through an automotive program and then learned more by getting a paying job as an apprentice in a car repair center. Now he's earning even more, and he has zero student loan debt. I get a lot of satisfaction knowing that if I fix something, it's fixed right. And this past year, while hundreds of thousands of white-collar jobs vanished, the auto repair industry added jobs. The friends that I know that have jobs, secure jobs, they never went to college. And if Rachel could do it over again? I probably would have gone to a trade school for hairdressing. That is about $11,000, and I'd probably be making better money. I would much rather see a student graduate knowing that they can go out there, get a job, and not be crushed under the burden of a prestigious degree.